Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of new stuff to go over. Pokemon Prismatic Evolutions has been announced. We obviously have the Nintendo shareholder meeting tomorrow. And as well as that, we have some more updates on the massive Terra League that's gone on at Game Freak. A lot of things to break down today. If you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video. And I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, just some quick Pokemon Unite news to go over. We've got Cerebi here tweeting out, saying, Cerebi update, Pokemon Unite is to add Psyduck as a playable character on November the 14th, 2024. This is the last of the three that was announced at Worlds, being, I think it was Armor Rouge. I can't remember, but it was like Psyduck, I mean Armor Rouge, and then also it was um, Darkrai as well. I'm pretty sure I don't play Pokemon Unite, but I think those were the ones that were announced at Worlds. But either way, um, that's going to be the last of the three characters that were revealed back in August, um, and that's coming out on the 14th of November. Remember, Psyduck can't evolve. It's a little bit like a Pikachu situation. Um, but yeah, that's the next Pokemon Unite character if you obviously are a fan of the MOBA game. So that's that. Uh, moving on, of course, we do have this big news as well. Pokemon Pocket absolutely flying right now. Obviously, very addicted to it myself, but a lot of other people are apparently because it is one of the most downloaded like mobile games uh, launch ever in history. It's crazy. We've got Stealth here tweeting out saying, Pokemon Company announced that Pokemon trading card game Pocket has over 10 million downloads in 48 hours. It is the third biggest mobile game launch ever in terms of revenue, which is mad. Like they said, before, they, um, before, they, uh, before this obviously came out, they said that they had really high hopes for this game. They weren't lying. They know what they're doing third biggest mobile game ever launched in terms of revenue is ridiculous uh one question why has the current trading card game never been brought to the switch um so yeah obviously doing ridiculous numbers it's only going to get better if they keep updating this with like events and stuff i think um yeah i think that's going to do really well i don't know if it's going to be like a 2016 pokemon go situation but i know a lot of people that are playing this that don't generally play pokemon that much it's one of those games that did have the impact that pokemon go did so yeah i mean it might just be the initial bloom obviously you get to open so many packs at the start so maybe when that dies down a little bit maybe people will stop playing it as much uh like when you're in the position where you've done all the solo battles um and you're only really opening like one or two packs a day it probably will slow down a little bit but i think it's very much a game that is just going to do really really big numbers so yeah uh, obviously we just got the event as well the the kind of wonder pick event so people clearly uh, are happy about that and i think they're just going to keep doing those i don't know if they're going to do an event like every week but uh it's doing really really well and uh, it's cool to see because like i say massive fan of this game so that's that uh next up we of course have the shareholder meeting happening tomorrow um, actually, I think it's tonight at like, because obviously it's in Japan time. So I think it goes, I think it starts at like 10 o'clock tonight for me. Um, but then obviously we'll get information about it at like one or two in the morning. So obviously we'll cover it in tomorrow's video what actually happens because this video is going to go up before the actual shareholder meeting. Um, but either way, there is going to be a question about the Switch 2 there, or that you'd like to think so. We have Stealth here tweeting out saying, if there are no more Switch Directs, and Nintendo plans on announcing all remaining games in this manner, aka randomly, I'm fine with that. Once the Switch 2 is announced, Nintendo fans will want Directs to be Switch 2 focused anyway. Hopefully we'll get more clarity on the Switch 2's announcement window during Nintendo's upcoming financial briefing, which like I say is tomorrow, today, whatever, depending on time zones. Either Furukawa will make a statement like he did before, uh, where obviously they said that you know there's going to be a Direct in June, the, the Switch 2 is going to be announced in this fiscal year, um, but obviously there was going to be no mention of the Switch 2 in the next Direct. So that was like the big announcement. So what he's saying here is either Furukawa will make a statement like he did before, or an investor will ask about it during the Q&A. The sooner it happens, the sooner the real fun begins. So it's, it's very likely we're going to get something asked about it, or at least a little bit more information. Like he might come out and say, it's not going to get announced this calendar year, which fair enough. That means it's going to get announced like around January, February. Like personally, I, I don't think it's going to get announced now until January. Um, I think that the last week was probably the best time. Obviously, we didn't get it. I mean, the leakers said it was going to be early October. We're now in early November and we haven't had anything. So those leakers were clearly wrong. Maybe it's been postponed. Maybe it's been delayed because like the Terra League at Game Freak. I highly doubt that. Uh, and like I say, a lot of people are saying that, you know, it's not going to get announced because they want the Switch 1 to do really well over Christmas. But like I say, the Switch 2 has already been announced. It's just not been revealed. So I don't think that'll affect any kind of holiday sales. I, I think they'll probably do more bundles and stuff like they have been doing just to try to like sell more consoles. But at the end of the day, 
everybody knows the Switch 2. Everybody's that's, I guess everyone that's bothered about the Switch 2 knows the Switch 2 is going to be announced soon. So it's not going to make you buy a Nintendo Switch, uh, in my opinion, because you know the next console is already coming out. Um, but yeah, like I say, the shareholder meeting is is very soon. So hopefully we get something. I mean, like I say, the, the, there's definitely going to be a question asked. Either Furukawa says something or uh, a shareholder asks something. But um, yeah, it, it might be minimal information, but it, it should be something. Like it's, it's something that's definitely going to get brought up because it's going to be the thing that's making Nintendo a lot of money and obviously the shareholders want to know about that that sweet sweet money so uh, either way that's obviously the shareholder meeting so we'll cover anything that is dropped in tomorrow's video but uh, yeah fingers crossed we do get something really really big but uh, some people are saying like can they shadow drop it in it they're not going to do that but like I said, there might be a little bit of information about it. But anyway, that's that. Uh, moving on, we do also have Prismatic Evolutions announced. This TCG set is going to be in ridiculous high demand. It already is. It's already sold out in a lot of places, and it literally just got announced a few days ago. Uh, so we've got Cerebi here tweeting out saying, Cerebi update, the next Pokemon TCG set has been revealed, Prismatic Evolution. It's available in special boxes from the 17th of January, 2025. Next year's TCG sets are just going to be ridiculous. We've got this. We've got the Team Rocket set. We've got the, the trainer set as well. We're like N and Reshiram. It's going to be an expensive month, uh, expensive year for TCG enthusiasts because these sets are going to be expensive. Like I say, this is already getting scalped like to crazy. Like not even the Pokemon Sensory TB. It's like the normal ETB that's usually around like £40. So for like 90 because it's sold out and it's not even out yet. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be like, oh, it's just gonna be stupid, man. It's gonna be really, really bad. So I hope that they just pump a lot of these out because <laughs> there's gonna be such a high demand for it. But either way, this is the information about it. So the Pokemon Company International revealed our upcoming uh, special set that earlier was being referred to as Scarlet and Violet 8.5, now named Scarlet and Violet Prismatic Evolutions. The set is based off of the Japanese high class pack Scarlet and Violet Terrestrial Festival set, which obviously releases next month in December, which we also covered earlier on, I think, last week. All eight evolutions are going to get an EX card as a stellar Terra Pokemon EX, and this set releases on the 17th of January. Uh, Prismatic Evolutions booster packs will be not be sold in traditional booster boxes, so look for them in special products. So you're going to get ETBs, stuff like that. Um, so it's going to have over 175 cards. It's going to have EV Evolutions, a stellar Pokemon EX, uh, or stellar Terra Pokemon EX, should I say. Illustration Rare and Special Illustration Rare cards, 6 Ace Spec Trainer cards, 10 Pokemon EX, and 15 Terra Pokemon EX. 12 Ultra Rare Supporter Cards, 32, which I thought was a typo, but it's not, Special Illustration Rare Pokemon EX and Supporter Cards, which is ridiculous, uh, and then 5 Hyper Rare Gold Etched Pokemon EX Cards as well. And then these are all the products that you can kind of see uh, these packs in. So obviously you've got your Pokemon uh, ETB, which again is already being scalped. I'm not even talking about the Pokemon Center one, it's just literally the normal ETB, which is going for a lot. Um, I'm hopefully going to be able to get my hands on this because I really want to complete this set. Like, it's an Evolution set. I'm obviously going to try my best to complete it. This is the sort of promo card that comes with the ETB, which looks really cool as well. Uh, you get some really cool stuff in here as well. So, uh, yeah, very, very happy to... Uh, to be grabbing this hopefully you get um quite a few packs in that as well which is really nice so that's the etb uh, there's other things as well uh, there's the prismatic evolutions binder collection so very similar to what we got with the 151 so you get a few packs in that and you get a binder so definitely going to be picking that up myself uh, and then also you get your um, poster collection box. It's very similar to what we got with 151. Like there wasn't any 151 booster boxes. You got your, um, the, the best thing were like the booster bundles. And I think they're doing those as well. Uh, they're obviously doing the tins as well. It's basically just like they did for 151. There's the booster bundles. So they're going to be really, really sought after. Like their, their MSRP is $26. They're going to be going for like I don't know, like 45 50 man. It's going to be scalped so bad. The tins are going to be really good. Like It's because the, the bundles are like the best value for money. But um, yeah, there's a lot of things coming out for this set. But it's basically the Evolution version of 151. So yeah, this is going to do... There's going to do numbers. It's going to be a really thought, uh, sought after set. Either way, that's Prismatic Evolutions. Uh, and then also finishing things off, we've got some big updates to go over about the Terra Leak. So Pokemon Z scrapped details leaked. So this was posted on Nintendo Everything. Uh, this is another update from the Terra Leak. This was posted on the 3rd of November, so yesterday. Uh, again, we're still getting updates from this Terra Leak. You know, I, I, we still haven't even touched upon like Sword and Shield and stuff yet. So I'm sure there's going to be some big things in that. But either way says, following the launch of Pokemon X and Y on the 3DS, Pokemon Z is something that was largely discussed within the fan community. Many thought that Game Freak would eventually come out with the game as a follow-up to the original Generation um, 6 titles. That didn't happen in the end, but specific details have now surfaced from the Game Freak hack slash leak. 
First up, Game Freak was thinking of having Zygarde come into two complete forms. So Zygarde was originally going to have an X form and then a Y form, which is kind of cool. I really like the idea. Uh, but form X, we would have gotten a large wolf that hunts Xerneas as its prey. And then form Y would feature weaponry that was like an anti-aircraft. Game Freak would later repurpose both for 10% and 100% Zygarde. So I think we missed out. I think a massive wolf Zygarde would have looked sick that was hunting Xerneas, which makes sense, just like a wolf hunting a deer. And then also the 100% the Zygarde would have been like the Y form. So, oh, man, I think it would have been sick. I'm really annoyed that they, dude, they scrapped so much good stuff, man. It's crazy. Naturally, Zygarde would have been the start of Pokemon Z. In fact, the Pokemon would have been on the game's box art. So, continuing on from that, the Zygarde-like rock found in Cena and Dexio's research lab is called the Z-Stone. So also, plot points were scrapped for Pokemon Z as well as for Pokemon Sun and Moon. These can be found below courtesy of Central League. So um, maybe that Z-Stone is going to be something that pops up in Pokemon Legend ZA. And that allows us to Mega Evolve uh, Zygarde. Because again, it is potentially going to be in that game. Like we do know they've spoken about Mega Zygarde and they, uh, they did want to put it in the anime. So we're expecting to see it in the game. And maybe that's like, I I'm expecting a lot of this cut stuff to potentially be in Pokemon ZA. Uh, so Pokemon Z monitors Pokemon X and Y who control the life energy of the Kalos region. It appears when the balance between Pokemon X and Y is disrupted, creating a distortion in the world and fights either Pokemon X or Y to restore balance. Since it is a, sw uh, since it is a swarm, the way its individuals connect causes uh, its body shape to change significantly. It changes into forms advantageous for battling each of Pokemon X and Y. So if it's battling Xerneas, it will change into the wolf form. If it's battling the uh, Evolta, it will change into like the Digimon. Uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. So communication from Dexio says communication from Dexio a message uh, has come in from Dexio there is a beast in the end cave Zygarde has arrived having judged that the beast is a threat to the ecosystem you are told to go to the end cave with Zygarde which is obviously the complete form then Zygarde versus the beast so the beast is discovered in the deepest part of the end uh, cave Dexio's explanation so Zygarde came to Alola to defeat the beast Zygarde is eager to fight the pokeball containing Zygarde is shaking you sent out Zygarde and then removing the Poke Deco. So Cena removes the Pokemon, uh, the Poke Deco. Since the newly synthesized uh, Zygarde now considers the player as its trainer, Cena removes her mark. So while Pokemon Z itself never came to be, Game Freak is finally revisiting Generation 6. Pokemon Legends Z8 was revealed several months ago and is coming in 2025. Read about it here. So um, I think the Z, the Z Stone is is definitely likely to be in Legends ZA. I think that's definitely a, a shout. I think that is the way that it will Mega Evolve and maybe doesn't become the complete form. In terms of like the Wolf and stuff, I don't think they're ever going to see the light of day because, like I say, they were kind of repurposed. Like the ten percent form is basically the Wolf; it's just a dog now, uh, and also the complete form is you know what the the, the Y form was going to be. So I don't think we're going to get that. Um, but yeah, in, in, in regards to this, I think we definitely missed out on some more stuff. I, I think the, the worst thing about these leaks is that we could see how much content we were going to get. And obviously, we know that we were supposed to get Pokemon Z. We were going to get Pokemon X and Y2, Pokemon X and Y3. Like, there was so many ideas getting thrown around. And then we got none of it. So maybe Legend ZA is just kind of like, I guess... A bit of a shout out to that game and maybe a lot of stuff is going to be implemented into that game hopefully anyway i mean i'd love to see a massive wolf zygarde it's not going to happen but i think the pokemon i think from this i think the pokemon z stone is the most likely thing if anything is going to be in legend ZA, i think it'll be that um but either way let me know your thoughts on this would you like to have seen a big uh wolf form for zygarde and also the complete form as well in separate games or would you um or are you happy with what we got let me know your thoughts on that let me know your thoughts on Prismatic Evolutions as well. Are you going to be bothering collecting this TCG set or are you just going to, you know, put it to the side? It's going to be so sought after. It's going to be so expensive. You're just not bothered about it. Uh, and then also, what do you think we're going to see at the shareholder meeting as well? What do you hope to see? Do you hope to hopefully get some information about it or do you think it's just not going to be until like next year now? But uh, also the pocket stuff as well, like crazy stuff. Also, by the way, if you aren't already, make sure to join the Discord. A lot of people are trying to find like people to add and stuff on the Discord. We have a Pokemon Pocket TCG section in the Discord. It's in the description down below. Obviously completely free to join. Always people pulling or like there's always people posting their pools and stuff. Very jealous because my pack look is non-existent. Uh, but yeah, if you do want to join that, that's great. And then obviously when trading comes out, you're already going to have all these people to trade with. So yeah, make sure to join the Discord if you are very much into this game because there's a lot of other people that are also into it in the Discord. So yeah, 
make sure to join that. And then, uh, yeah, Psyduck is available soon. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts, like I said, on anything we covered in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.